Hello chess friends and welcome to Azarov's chess channel and welcome to my advanced chess theory and to another part of this hyper accelerated dragon Sicilian defense and I've already uh, done this introduction video in which I've shown you this continuation when your opponent takes with the queen in uh, on d4 so the link to this introduction video will be also at the end of this video and uh, I basically want you to watch this video in in the row so first watch the introduction then the first then the second and then the parts that are coming after that so you can get a better perspective and first of all i wanted to solve this situation when your opponent takes the spawn on d4 with the queen and attacks your rook on h7 so this will be uh, the first line that i want you to memorize and after that we'll we go with these lines of when the knight takes on 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 d4 which will be then sort of an anti-yugoslav attack by black so we 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 are trying to avoid this yugoslav attack that i've also talked about this uh, in uh, about in in the introduction video so here i wanted to they show a different continuation after queen takes on d4 and when the queen comes on uh, b3 and with this queen to b3 white has a different strategical idea but uh, also uh, some weaknesses uh, with this queen so let's see the game today I wanted to show you a game it was played between um, Alarcon uh, Caselas and uh, Eduardo Iturizaga and Eduardo Iturizaga he is a um, Venezuelan uh, grandmaster and basically he is the only um, only grandmaster in Venezuela so I think when they play their national uh, championship there he is uh, sort of a feared player and uh, and uh, let's see how he played this hyper accelerated dragon Sicilian. Mm -hmm. so we have here uh, by Caselas e4 c5 knight on f3 uh, again g6 you, s we s you see we don't play uh, we, we don't play with our knight or with any piece we uh, we are sort of hyper hyper accelerating the development of our bishop so we have g6 uh, d4 c takes d4 and now again this queen takes on d4 we have now knight on f6 of course uh, again i'm pointing you out f6 is not good because uh, of bishop on c4 which will then uh, prevent us here uh, to castle and uh, we have here now e5 knight on c6 knight on uh, queen to a4 knight on d5 and now this move queen to b3 in our previous video we had this move queen to e4 which is a huge uh, difference now because uh in when white played this queen to e4 we had this idea to play uh, d5 and uh, and attack the queen which sort of forced uh, forced white to take ampassan but then we have created a really nice attack and uh, here the idea is to play queen to b3 which is also uh, attacking immediately this knight on d5 which is uh, perfectly placed here in the center and uh, you see the queen cannot be so far uh, rested by any uh, uh, by any pawn so black has to react here so th the best move that you can play here is the move knight on c7 uh, n not knight on b6 maybe because uh, possibilities are here to play uh, a4 a5 immediately so attack your attack your uh, knight on b6 but there is uh, this idea of, uh, from this knight here on on c7 when your opponent is trying here to play bishop to f4 uh, to support this e5 you see this white has this uh, gained this space advantage by this pawn by this e5 pawn and of course he will try to support this pawn by by uh, by a piece and of course he will do that with the bishop but uh, when your opponent plays bishop to f4 or you have knight on uh, knight on his e6 which will basically force uh, white to play the move bishop to g3 and after we uh, maybe play bishop to g, uh, g7 knight on c3 we can now castle and uh, now you see it's hard for white to create this uh this attack here because 
he will probably play h4 h5 but he hasn't this uh, bishop on this diagonal uh, uh, on which he would love to trade this uh, bishop on on g7 and create maybe some mating threats uh, on the h file so bishop to g3 although it's uh, very well protecting this uh, e5 it can the bishop uh, is really not so good at, as it would be here on this diagonal so i hope you realize it that's why after knight on c7 here is uh, where white played bishop to d2 and he wants to play it on c3 and then maybe uh, by a move of e6 uh, trade the bishops and then play uh, h4 so this is the, the strategic idea here by white and we have here now bishop um, to g7 by Iturizaga and now uh, bishop to c3 we have here now uh, b5 really aggressive move uh, you see when white castles now uh, kingside he doesn't have a good attack a good attack on on your king so of course he would love to castle queenside here uh, but uh, Iturizaga already created here a queenside attack so he doesn't lose any time because of course you see bishop uh, takes on b uh, b5 isn't good because we can play then rook to b8 and pin the bishop uh, with the ideas to after that to play maybe a6 and this will be uh, a, a loss of uh, of a piece by white so of course he played here this move a3 and uh, we already gained some attack here uh, on this queen side so a potential queen side uh, castle by by white is also not good uh, and uh, you see black is really perfectly fine here with this position and uh, we have also a good con uh, central control with our two knights the, the knight can uh, again i'm pointing out come on this very nice e6 square and control even the d4 and uh, the f4 square so after the e6 uh, the the knight could jump here on f4 which will be perfectly fine but after uh, a3 here Niturizaga plays first for the security of his king he plays a uh, castling i hope you realize that it's a good position here by black it's perfectly fine and uh, basically what we have to do is just to develop the bishop maybe play the rook on, on c8 on the on a on the semi open file but in the game uh, white played h4 immediately so okay it's a threat uh, here to play h5 and trade uh, the 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 pawn on g6 which cannot be taken then by this f pawn because of the queen here which is pointing uh, to to the king and uh, okay but iturizaga first fixes here the the pawn on uh, on b5 and after uh, h uh h5 uh he meets with this strategical idea in the middle game so which says if your opponent attacks you on the flanks you should strike back in the center and that's what he does here with this uh king uh, with this king still in the center it was not a good decision by white to play immediately on the attack you see how dangerous it is it it, it might seem to you that w white was better in this position because he already created this attack on the castled king but uh, you see this is now the king on, on e1 is really an, an endangered one and uh, he will be in sort of troubles and uh, with this move a3 uh, well whoa, white cut out uh, cut out uh, uh, a square for his queen and the queen is now in uh, sort of troubles you see the queen doesn't have good squares uh if if it gets attacked and that's what uh Iturizaga idea here to play the move bishop to e6 so we have here uh, uh e takes d6 and now we have this move bishop to e6 and the queen is basically trapped so so it's really it really doesn't have any good squares so of course uh, white uh, at least takes this takes this knight on c7 so we have here queen takes on c7 bishop takes on g7 and of course bishop takes on b3 and we have now rook takes on uh, uh, bishop takes on f8 and uh, now itrizaga plays bishop to d5 
Of course, the, the bishop is under attack, but it cannot go here on this diagonal, which is protecting this b2. So it has to go on uh, h6. And now uh, we have here bishop to c3. If the opponent takes uh, here on c3, then we have, of course, queen to e5 and here take on b2 and uh, after that also the rook so the, that's why it, uh, white didn't take he played knight on c3 we have knight on d4 attacking here this c2 and now comes rook to c1 uh, knight to f5 attacking the bishop after uh, white took on uh, f3 uh, Iturizaga took simply out this uh, this bishop on h6 we have uh, h takes g6 h takes g6 he's uh, also leaving now this knight he doesn't care for it because uh, bishop to d3 so if he takes the rook here then then we have here uh, queen to f4 which is uh, attacking both of the rooks and uh, this is of course perfectly fine for for black so that's why uh, white uh, white didn't take uh, take the knight and he played bishop to d3 and we have now queen to e5 uh, simply attack on the king king to f1 uh, knight on f5 perfectly coordination now by the pieces basically uh, black just uh, has to bring his rook into the game we have rook to e1 uh, queen to f4 attacking this <coughs> f3 pawn knight on d5 uh, queen to d6, uh, bishop takes on f5, and uh, now uh, Iturizaga takes the knight, because with this, with this maybe the uh, problems on dark squares a little bit that he has, um, he wants to get rid of this knight because the the knight can always jump on on different uh, colored squares, while the bishop uh, after taking here on f5, it's basically just playing uh, playing uh, on on of course on 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 the light squares. So we have here now uh, bishop on e4, but of course we have this uh, in between check and uh, bishop to d3 came, and now we have. Uh, queen to c5. So you see now, uh, the black and white have uh, five pawns, but uh, white has this weakness of f3 here, and also the weakness of this b2 pawn, and of course he has the queen, uh, queen for the rook and the bishop, and of course it's a winning game, winning game for for black. So we have now rook to e4, uh, trying to play maybe rook to h4 and create some checks here but you see Iturizaga has a way out with this king uh, through g7 and f6 so we have now rook to d8 uh, rook to h4 uh, king to g7 rook on h7 and now comes this move uh, king to f6 uh, you see there are now no possible checks anymore so we have here here now rook to h4 and we have now e5 which is preventing here uh, to play check uh, of course very nice move so we have now king to g2 white's getting out of the possible attacks uh, here uh, so g the king goes in this into security we have now rook to d4 uh, rook to h3 rook to f4 you see this um, f3 pawn is really is really an, uh, a weak one we have rook to h8 Queen to d4, which is now attacking this other, this other weakness, this uh, weak b2 pawn. So we have here now rook to a8 and queen to d6, rook to g3, uh, and rook to h4. So now why black is trying maybe to go around here somehow and create uh, some um, mating threats on on h1. So we have here rook to g8. Uh, white doesn't have any good moves. Uh, Basically, it's uh, of course a losing game for him, but he tries to hang on to a draw. Maybe we have now queen to d4 attacking again this uh, this pawn. So again rook to a8, which would take then of course this a6 pawn. So we have now queen to d6 again, b4, uh, queen to c6 again. Uh, this attack on on this c3. So we have now. Uh, bishop to e4 and now rook takes on e4 uh, 
of course you see this is now the problem if, if the, the pawn takes then we can take the rook so it was sort of a blunder by white so of course now came rook to g8 uh, we have rook to h4 uh, rook to a8 and uh, king to g7 and uh, this is where this is where uh, white white resigned the game so uh, this was this was a really nice game by Iturizaga but uh, from this game I want to point to really out this this line after after queen to b3 and uh, of that the best here move is uh, this knight on c7 which is then coming on e6 maybe so these are the possibilities and of course the possibilities to create here this minority attack on with b5 uh, maybe even uh, after a couple moves if the bishop goes maybe through g3 into the game after a couple moves you can play maybe even b5 a5 so really really uh, creating an attack on the queen side and uh, you have this flexibility in this position so with this bishop on g7 uh, basically this pawn isn't allowed to move because uh, the, the, the eventual pawn move by this e5 uh, will create then a dangerous attack here on this b2 so uh, this is a perfectly nice coordination by 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 black's pieces uh, of course we have sort of troubles here with this bishop on c8 but i'm i'm uh, uh, really satisfied with this outcome after this couple of moves in this line and i hope you realize it that it's uh, nothing special nothing fancy but we avoided really this uh, this uh, early attack by by white uh, while developing uh, perfectly fine so as said uh, watch my introduction video from this hyper accelerated dragon sicilian defense and watch also my two videos about this endangered queen and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks you for watching guys chess is the best